Welcome back to Elizabeth Plants. I'm Elizabeth and today we are walking through my scale journey. I don't know if you can hear Raja, but he's talking to the camera too. Raja would like to be in the video. He's looking for a snuggle. But if you watched my moving journey, then you might know that I discovered some scale on my plant. And I, the week of my move, had to deal with it and was dealing with it for a little bit after my move as well. Um, now I do want to note that in this video, I know that I'm talking about scale, but my brain switched the words scale and, now he's down there crying, mealybugs. So I know in my head I'm talking about scale, but my brain keeps saying mealybugs. If that even makes sense, I don't know if that ever happens to you guys, but sometimes my brain's just like, no, well, you know what you're talking about, but we're gonna make you look stupid. Um, so please know that if I'm ever saying mealybugs, I'm referring to scale. The bug that I'm talking about, the bug that I'm dealing with is I believe soft-backed brown scale or something like that, not mealybugs. I know mealybugs are the little white floofy ones and that what I'm dealing with being called scale just makes more sense than the white floofy ones. Let's just get started. Today we're gonna pick up where we left off somewhere in the middle of my final packing vlog video. So if you haven't watched that video, go watch it. I'll give you a second. Did you watch the video? Cool. So somewhere in the middle of the video, I found a pretty intense pest problem. See here? Okay. This guy is what we're doing next. He does not love it at this apartment. I'm really hoping that he loves Texas a lot more. Yeah, he's really just not, not loving it here. Actually, now that I'm looking at him, he has quite the infestation and I actually might have to throw him out. He's got quite the infestation. I'm gonna go put him in the tub and deal with him later. I just wanna give you a close up. So this is what my problem looks like and how I didn't discover it sooner, it beats me. I guess I just didn't get super close. Yeah, that's a problem. And I want to save this plant. I don't want to toss it. And because it's not a small plant, I don't have to, I, I wasn't planning on putting it in one of these boxes anyways, these boxes. So it can stay separate from the other plants during the move process. Where exactly, I haven't figured that out yet, but it can stay separate because everything else is going to be pretty much locked up in a box. And it's two days after I filmed the part of that video that I'm referring to. And I have now basically left that plant in the tub the entire time. Um, I bring it out of the tub and put it back in this room at night, but it's separate from all the other plants. And while it's in the tub, several times a day, I have been spraying it with a pretty um, not diluted mixture of rubbing alcohol and water. But what I'm going to do is I just rinse them off with water and I'm going to spray very closely to all these guys with a, a rubbing alcohol water mix. Let them sit for a couple of hours and I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna scrape everything off little leaf by little leaf. I attempted to use like a, a painting brush that's really, um, I don't know, dense is the word that comes to mind. I'll show you a clip in a sec. Um, but I attempted to use that to scrape off all the bugs, but it wasn't working. So now I have to go in with my own fingernails, which is fine, just extremely tedious. So we're gonna do at least some of that right now. All right, so this is a close-up of the plant. I know you can't like see the details from there, but this is the brush I attempted to use. Hopefully you can see like it's pretty, pretty rough and pretty sturdy, but this is the brush I attempted to use, didn't work. So now what I am going to do is take these and I've done it on a couple of them. Let's see if I can get one closer to you so you can see. But all of these dots are the bugs and they're all pretty brown. So I'm hoping most of them, if not all of them are 
dead. And I'm just gonna go through and scrape at them with my nails and then rinse the plant down and scrape some more. I will probably not get through the entire plant today or even before I move because this is extremely tedious. We're going to at least try and get the big ones and the majority. If you have a pest problem, now is your sign to go tackle it with me. I'm gonna slap some music over this and we're going to do this together. Oh, and if some of you um, didn't watch the full video before, um, or maybe if I've included it at the beginning, but anyways, some of these dots that you might be able to see, I can't quite tell, um, are actually sunburn, which is why I didn't notice the pest problem, because they look very similar to the sunburn. So as I go through, I'm going to clip off all the brown leaves simply because uh, it's really hard to see the bugs on those, but they are on there and they're dead leaves. So I'm going to clip them off, um, one less problem. Okay, that's the top side of this leaf done. Um, I do technically have to do the bottom, but there is a lot less on the bottom. All the dead ones. I didn't manage to poke my hands at all where I'm bleeding. But I am covered in the dead bugs, um, and let me show you a close-up. Look at all of that nasty. Most of that is the dead bugs. Could also be like dirt and dust, but most of that's dead bugs. So I'm gonna rinse the plant off and take a break before to let it dry before I move on to the next leaf. We are now in the new place. It's been over a week, week and a half and I have moved this plant along with other plants with no spread. I've also been housing it outside, so it might have gained more pests. However, I'm about to finish cleaning off the leaves, but I wanna show you what happened to the one leaf we cleaned off in the old apartment. And I also wanna apologize for the lighting in our bathroom. It's very yellow and I'm not a fan. Okay, so this is the leaf we cleaned off. You can kinda of see that I was, that I've scratched the leaves considerably. They're also not perfectly clean. I mean, you can see that there's these little, little bugs on it from outside, but we're going to at least scrape off the rest of this nasty. experiencing more resistance than I did before, which leads me to believe either I just don't remember it well, or there might be some more live ones on here. So I might go, after I'm done with this leaf, find my, uh, the like soap that I use on my plants and make a little soap, water, and rubbing alcohol mix. All right, so I finally finished cleaning off the leaves and wow, do they look nice green. There's definitely like you can see the damage from the bugs on some of the leaves. And I'm sure I didn't get everything. I also got the 
underside. I really hope that this guy is salvageable. Um, I'm going to give him some time to dry off, put some diatomaceous earth on the soil just for prevention of other pests, and then put him back outside. It is now two or three weeks from when I removed all of the scale off of my plant. Yes, we are now in, at the point in time through this journey where I realize that I've been calling it mealy bugs even though I know I'm talking about scale. Yes, we're there. Um, the day I am kind of filming the wrap up of this video is about two or three weeks later. I have completely removed the scale to my knowledge and I'm about to show you here in a sec. But after I scraped or brushed all of them off the leaves, I let the leaves rinse and sit in like really dim lighting for about a day. Might have been more than a day, but approximately a day. And then I coated the entire plant in diatomaceous earth and plopped him outside. Now, during the entire time he's been outside, he's also been experiencing these little teeny tiny ants and I've kind of let them be because the plant's not showing any distress and I'm hoping while I have not researched this and I do not know I'm hoping maybe these little itty bitty ants because they are so tiny are like predators to scale or any other pests maybe if he's got some thripes that I didn't catch or something and so I've kind of let him be Let's go check on him. Now it's a little chilly out today and it's rained a couple of times since he's been out here so the diatomaceous earth isn't super um, powdery like it was. I mean, you can see down in the soil kind of how it was powdery. I wanna see if I can't find one of those little ants to show you. There's a couple right here. These are the little ants that have been chilling on him. And you can see there's still quite a few like bodies of the scale. I haven't noticed much of a change, so I'm not too worried about it at this time. I'm gonna probably coat him in some more diatomaceous earth, give him another scrub down maybe in a week or so, just to check. But his leaves, his leaves are a little bit yellowing at the end that wasn't like that last week. So I'm keeping my eye and I'm hoping that's not from the ants. Um, but otherwise he looks a lot healthier than he did. Like a lot, a lot healthier. Granted, he's been outside and this week has been fairly chilly, but it's supposed to warm up next week. So I'm not moving him again. But yeah, this is the guy and I might do give him a hydrogen peroxide bath soon as well. Raja loves coming outside and I did not invite him. He's having a problem with it. So that to date is my scale journey. It's not very exciting. It's not a very crazy one. It seems to be working what I'm doing and I'm going to maintain doing it. <laughs> Here's Raja again. It seems to be working and I'm going to maintain doing it that way uh, until I either discover something better. Yes, hi Raja. Either just uh, learn something better or it stops working. No, we're not gonna, no, we're not getting your harness on right now. Not right now. Let me know if you have, now Simba's joining the party. Let me know if you have any suggestions for scale, if you've experienced scale. This is my first uh, experience with scale, uh, except for my um, variegated ZZ, and I got rid of those in one try on my ZZ, so not entirely sure. This plant's a lot bigger than my ZZ, so it's going to require a little bit more attention to detail and probably a couple more tries. Um, but let me know what has worked for you or what hasn't worked for you. I'd love to um, continue keeping an eye on him and if it doesn't seem to be working, try something that you guys know works. But that is this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, if you like general plant care, pest journey videos. Uh, subscribe to see more of my content, ring the bell to be notified when I post new videos, and I will see you next time. <laughs>